We're all busy, but what happens if we don't have time to work out? Well, first off, why don't you have time to work out? I work 40 hours a week and I have a home life, but I'm fortunate enough to be able to find at least 30 minutes a day to work out. Most days is closer to 45 or 60 minutes with some planning ahead. That's one of the reasons I like the DDP Yoga Now app, because I can set up my iPad and work out anywhere. But I know that's not the case for everyone. If you find that time is your problem, I'd recommend taking a look at workouts that can be done anywhere. There are breathing exercises and arm tension workouts you can do in your office. A simple Google search will give you dozens of options. Something else that I do at my office is about once an hour I get up and I walk down the hallway, stretch the legs, get some water, use the restroom, whatever I need to do. The important thing is I'm not in my chair all day. It's terrible for your lower back. Another method is to squeeze in some stretching in the mornings and at night. It does wonders for your back, it does wonders for your hips. It's a great way to get up in the morning. Wake up about five minutes early, do a few push-ups, do a few sit-ups. You don't have to do too many at first, but the more you do it, the more reps you do each day. Changing your habits is 100% up to you, so own it. Don't give yourself an excuse not to work out. The more you push yourself, the more you'll be able to do. Next thing you know, you'll have a night where you have an hour or two to work out at home or swing by the gym. Maybe you can work up to jogging around the neighborhood once a week. <laughs> the thought of jogging makes my knees hurt, but in a couple months, that may be a different story. Now what if you physically can't work out? There are times when you may have an injury or a medical condition that prevents any kind of workout. If that's the case, it's more important than ever to watch your diet. If you're stuck in bed or on the couch, you won't be burning any additional calories, but your body still burns calories doing basic bodily functions. You'll need to find your basal metabolic rate. Sometimes you'll see it written as BMR. Your BMR can be found using an equation, <laughs> or do like me, make it easy to download an app. I use MyFitnessPal, but there are dozens of good apps out there. What's important to look for is an app that gives you your BMR and also allows you to track your daily caloric intake in the same place. If you're like I used to be, you may have been putting anything and everything in your face some days. Using a calorie tracker will quickly show you what foods you can keep and what you need to toss. Come in under your BMR and calories and you'll start burning weight. It may only be a pound or two a week and that's fine, just keep it up. I'm sharing my journey with you and if you'd like to share yours, feel free to comment below. If you're enjoying the show and want to help support my journey, I have included a donation link below as well as Amazon affiliate links to some of the equipment I use. Any financial support will be used to help this program and hopefully get a better camera. <laughs> I believe in you, and I'll see you next time.